Hey everyone, it's Sue here. Hello to everyone. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you're all doing okay and everyone is keeping well and happy um, and enjoying sunshine. Well, we have sunshine in the UK. Um, it's not been too hot, uh, just right really. So today I'm a bit behind with my Rach and Bella Crafts uh, hashtag 100 days RAB. Um, this is this is her day 11. I wasn't keeping up with them anyway, but we did go away for bank holiday weekend um, to the um, to Kent actually, um, and um, had a lovely time with all the family. We were all together and the grandchildren so it was lovely um, but it sort of put me behind really on my schedule so I've got to revisit my schedule and have a, a new look at it and maybe start introducing some new things to zhuzh it up a bit I think time has come so I'm going to continue on with the Rach and Bella Crafts hashtag 100 days RAB but as I say I'm only on um, day 11 there's a hundred days of different things. I think they're well ahead of me because I didn't start when they did. Um, and I'm also going to continue with um, Roxy's um, creations. Rachel at Roxy. Um, hashtag Roxy's Weekly Challenge 2023. Now, I may not do every one of these two series. It depends on what they're making. If it's something that I think I've already made recently, then I will bypass it so if there are any gaps in the um, week numbers that's going to be the reason why I don't think we need to stick to it religiously um, just pick and choose what you want to do really so this is Rachel from Rachel and Bella Crafts hashtag 100 days RAB day 11 and she's called it a multi-pocket notebook um I'm not quite sure why she calls it a notebook because we don't actually put a notebook in it or you could if you wanted to make a small notebook and put in it but um, the video didn't show that but anyway um, you all you need is some sort of strips of scraps really so that's what I've been looking out so I've got some strips here one or two are double sided the rest aren't and there's no real size let's um measure the first one so to just give you an idea and let's hope this works out um so i've got a strip here that's it's just under just over nine and a quarter inches wide or um in centimeters that would be 23 and three quarter centimeters and then the height of it is nine and a half centimetres or in inches it is three and three quarter inches and they're not all the same so they're various shapes and sizes and I thought we'd just see how we got on. So let's take the first one. So I'm going to try and make um, all of these up today as quick as I can. So you want your paper lengthways and then you're going to fold it as a trifold. So um, if you want to be precise and measure it, that's fine. Um, and if you want to use your scoreboard, that's fine. So we said this was, let's do this from measuring it. So this is nine and just over a quarter. So divide that by three. So that's going to be three, about three and an eighth, I think. Um, so let me get my score tool. I like using these. Um, so see three, three and an eighth would be there. I'm just going to see how this works out. So I'm just going to score it there, I think. see how this works we won't make the scores too deep um so move it along a tiny bit okay 
So then I'm going to fold that like so into a trifold. So the so that's what we're doing. You'll need your bone folder really just to give it a press down and I think I probably need to take a bit off that now. <laughs> that was a bit of an awkward measurement to divide up. So I'm just going to take a smidgen off there just so that it folds over. And then I think I'll take some of this end here. About that, I think. Okay. That's perfect. Right. Okay, so you may have to just do a bit of jigging about okay so that's a trifold I think that's how she folded it I'm just going to my notes so bring a third fold fold over to leave about an inch gap ah so we're doing we're folding it that way around and we're leaving about an inch gap so we do need to take some more off there um, and I'm just eyeballing this. Um, I think that will be enough. It's a while since I saw her video, to be honest. I still need to take a tiny bit off this. Sorry about this. But we have to get it so that it actually lays flat. Okay, so that's going to be the fold. Now you open it out into my notes and you fold the first and the third folds down at the top edge so it's up to you um, what sort of fold you want to do so I'm just going to do a small fold like that and then I'm going to try and match that here with this one um, so I'm just going to sort of eyeball it again. Okay, so then when you shut it, you have that. Now, hers were deeper, so let's go a bit deeper with this side. So we'll, so we'll move it down. This is the first. I never made a prototype. So that's much better. So you see you've got your V here, and then what we're going to do is we're going to make that into a little side tuck so that's top pocket and then if you glued it down here along the bottom and up that side left that free you'd have another pocket at the back okay so that's number one we'll, we'll do them all fold them all and then we'll glue them so we don't want a long one this side we want short so i'm going to make a wider one so i'm going to guess this now because I want to leave a gap here on this side so you're leaving folding it as a trifle but you're leaving about an inch there when that one comes over so give that a burnish okay and you could always do your short fold on this side as well if you wanted to I think that would be acceptable so I'm going to fold that one down there like so. I don't want it too deep because you want to save a bit here. That's going to gonna, going to come across like that. And then I'm just going to fold that one down sort of there. Just eyeballing it. And so that one looks like that. Um, I'd quite like that one to look the same, so I'm going to fold it so it's got the same gap here and here. If that makes sense. So it's a bit of, and because the fold's inside, you know, it doesn't matter if you refold it. So there's my second one. So what I meant was I want this and this to be more or less the same, I think like so and then we have this one so um so 
let's do the short side on the other side for for a change. So I just want that. I do it that way. Okay. Make sure that's lined up. that so then what we're doing is we're folding I'm going to fold this first down to here I think just inside that crease and and then I'm going to do the same if the other side and that might be a little bit longer that one but we'll see how it looks So that's just folding it the other way around. So you've got a nice pocket here. Okay, and this, we can stencil that. We can um, add another piece of paper in there because it's, it's single-sided. So is this. So again, I'll do that side with a pocket. So... have that there so this is a little bit wider I do love this paper I think it's so pretty so I'm going to have my short side um I'm not sure if this is has direction on or not I don't think it is so my short side is now on the left this time again so we're going to fold this down here So, so that's our short side, so I want to then fold this down, maybe we'll do it a bit lower, that one, see how it works, like so. Oh, that's good. Oh, it's like a v-neck jumper isn't it okay and this one's going to be taller so i'm going to do the short side on the right side so i'm going to just kind of eyeball it before i fold it and again this is only single sided but i think it's very pretty this paper so this is the tri-fold okay and then we're folding this top corner down just inside that crease you don't want it to be butted up against the crease otherwise it won't fold over and then this one um, however deep you want it really and there you have that one and that's got a nice side pocket okay so now we'll just glue these down Okay, so before we glue these single-sided ones down, we might cover those up. So I'm just going to get this fabric tack and I'm gluing down. So I want to keep that um, free. So I'm actually gluing along the bottom the thin bead. Like that. Like so. Slides about. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm doing it on my, my good mat, which is now fast becoming a messy mat. So that should just give that a press down. Stay glued down and then you've got your pocket there and you've got your kind of side tuck pocket here okay that's one let's do the same with this one I think actually I might use my art glitter because it's got a narrow 
nib on it. Hopefully it's going to come out. Oh, a big bubble came out. I'm not very good at doing a thin bead. My hands are too shaky. Okay. Press down for a few seconds so that it actually adheres. That's that one. Okay, so let's have a look and see what we've got any scraps to go in the back of this. Um, I've got scraps of all the pieces anyway. We could put some scraps in. That would be nice in the back of that one, actually. I'm just going to go ahead and glue that down. Just make sure that's straight first before I do it. So if you, that is straight, it's a bit of an optical illusion then. Oh, that, that side isn't quite right. So I'm going to see if that's deep enough and glue that down. I think that's lovely. I like that. All right. Oh, it's double sided. So let's see what does that side look like. So that side, or oh, that side. <laughs> now that I shouldn't have had a choice, should I? I like that side actually. So I'm going to pop that in. just going to pop that down like so so that it reaches the top and does not impede with the um, creases and then so I can still fold it and then I'm going to if you wanted to glue the flaps down inside you could but I don't think they're going to be a nuisance. I mean, we could just put a bit of glue there, stick that down, and the same here, stick that down, and then stick that down like so. That's it. So now we've covered up that white. They're very handy little pockets. So let's see what do we got. So we could do a bit of a mix and match on these. So this would look nice, I think, under here. Maybe the top part of that. So let's see. We want to mark that just inside there, and we only want it coming down to kind of there. Let's cut that down. Good way of using scraps. I, I'm being very good and I try not to keep too many scraps unless they're a decent size for sort of things like pockets or, you know, um, little journal cards. So that, that would make a nice little card of some sort, I think. Tiny tag, something like that. So, whoops. So we're going to, um, I think we're going to have it that way round. Just needs a shave off of there. Okay, I'm just going to glue this one, it's a bit thinner, so I'm just going to glue that down. 
and I might as well do this one. I'm not wasting a lot of glue on it. I'm just gluing the corners down. Okay, so that goes over there like so. Right. Whoops. So that's covered the back of that one. So and then you can embellish them when you use them in a journal. Depending on what you're making and what colour scheme you've got. Just move that down a tad. Quite straight there, that's better. I'm going to have to scrub this mat. <laughs> okay, so that's a big tuck there. So what I might do is put a blob of glue under that one there. So we've got actual pocket rather than a tuck. And there we have that one. It's a tall one. And these can be free freely put into your journal they could be clipped to a page so you can paper clip them to the side of your um, journal page and then lastly we've got this one so what should we put inside this um let's see what have we got um that's too narrow i think that's too short yeah too short. Um, keen on that. It have to be this corresponding. So I have two alternate ones. I think that would be nice. So I'm going to line it up just inside those crease lines here. So about there, and then. I want it to come down to about, let's see, here, maybe. Let's just chop this up. Now I've done what I always do. I've chopped off my other mark. I always do that. Why? I don't know. Just do so I don't want to use the whole thing I just want to go below that slightly because we'll keep that piece well, that's definitely not straight <laughs> sometimes I forget to hold down the um, this bar here and then it just cuts any old how better okay so that's good and I want to do a giveaway when I reach 750 subscribers so tell all your friends, get people to subscribe. I'd be very, very grateful. And, um, you know, I'll, um, have something nice to give away, I think. I haven't made my mind up what yet, but I think I might give away more than one th prize. So it could be a first, second and a third draw. That would be nice. Okay, so so 
so yeah spread the word and um I won't announce it yet because I'm only on, I'm not even on 600 yet. So, um, I might wait until I get to 600 and then announce it. Yeah, that's the right way around, isn't it? Yes, so it's going to go in there. So, right, okay, I'm just staring at them now, so I'm going to decorate, decorate one of them, um, so on camera, and I, I'll decorate a couple more off camera, and I'll show you the picture at the end. Right, let's take this one, and... So you want a couple of journal cards. I've got this piece left. I could make this into a journal card. But that would perhaps go in there. Or a tag would be nice. Um, let's find some... I've got some scraps of... Um, scrapbook pads in here which are quite thick. So let's have a look and see if there's anything we want to use make something with various off cuts that are always very handy hmm. that's quite pretty that would make a nice journal card or tag so we use that I think and Another nice piece there. Possibly. What else have we got here? Oh, I do like that little bird cage with the bird on it. I kept that scrap because I just like that bird. I think that's probably it. Um, yeah, I think so. Bits of Tim Holtz. Some of these can make nice belly bands. I'm not that keen on dots, but I do like that. That's very pretty on the back and the front. Okay, let's pop those back in there for, for now. And let's make something to go into. Oh, have I picked up the grey one and put it... <gasps> Excuse me a minute. i just find it again now. I've in here I think it's disappeared how silly of me me I have a knack of losing things <laughs> dangerous so it's the right width um, for tag and that'd be nice journaling spot and I just like the colors so I wanted to look a bit bigger so kind of put a mark there Let's check it's ear it is even and let's check that end again. Okay, keeping that. Right, 
Right, so I'm going to cut, I'm going to make this into a tag and I'm going to cut it myself. So I'm taking that corner, turning it over and putting it on this side with a template and then I'm just going to hold it down, cut it and that's my tag there. Okay, put a hole in it. So, what we can do is we can make, actually, we'll make a tag thing before we put a hole in it, just to strengthen the top. So, all I've done is taken the strip and I'm using the other side, turning it over to make a sort of a square shape here like that, maybe a bit lower. Like so, cut that down, and then pop that over the top and glue it down. And if you want to, you can just pinch off those ends to give it a bit of a shape. So then I'm going to re-punch the hole. I'm just going to lay across the top and make sure it's even either side, which it is, and I like that nice contrast. And then we're going to re-punch a hole. So that's gonna be hard now. But I I quite like that whole little punch. I'd like it better than my cropper tile. <laughs> Let's just pin that for a minute. Okay, so we've got that. All right, so that should fit in there, like so. We want to make a side tuck one, so I've got this. I found a bigger piece of this, um, would be nice, or we could use that, but I quite like this. Um, I do like this as well, but uh, maybe we'll make a small one so. I'm going to just cut this down into a narrower, a little, maybe a little journal card because it's plain on the back. So we will cut it over there and then and it's got sort of, I think they're hummingbirds on it. Very pretty. And I shall round the corners quickly with a 10 millimeter. And then, you know, if you want to have some interest on the back, I often stencil a corner or two. And that can then go in there or can go in there with that. So, um, You've got a sort of loaded pocket and these would make nice um, little racks really, happy mail, you know. Nice to make a tab on the top. Um, nice to make a tab with that bird, let's see if we can make one. make lots of things out of scraps okay now take the formulator now this may not work this is very temperamental this corner rounder and it did work 
and I just made a tab for the top of that with the bird so, so it just shows you what you can make out of scraps just don't throw them all away you know obviously you can't keep every one but um like so okay so that's that we need something to go in here so just get my jar of scraps because I often have something fibrous or something that can actually go in there so I've got, got this nice grey piece of string actually we could use that it's already knotted I think it might have been off a tag um, so we can just cut that down like so maybe a bit more they go back in the scrap jar to make clusters uh, have we got anything pink ish um, let's quickly have a look. That's nice. There's a scrap of um, binding here. So, actually, what I tend to do is open it out and I just tear it in half, and it's not so thick then. all the fibres off that are now everywhere <laughs> oh and attached to me and just kind of pop that through there as well so I'm just going to pop that in there and see if that lays Right, I did that wrong, so I'm going to take that one out, put them together. Let's put this one through first because it's quite thick. So put that one in like so. It's pretty. And then this one we could just tie at the top just have a, a kind of a double tag top like so so it's anyway you get the gist don't you yes well I don't like it Oh my goodness, so uh, I have to untie that and sort that out. But anyway, we'll do that now. And I'm going to round the corners of this tag at the bottom because I quite like those rounded. Okay, so we've done two tag, a tag and a journal card. And we just want to do a small little journal card for in here. So... Or little tag would be nice. I don't know if that's a good colour. Let's just find something else. Um, just having a look in that pile that I had in my hand. Something. 
quite nice. I think that quite that goes quite well. I have got this. No, actually. I'm now looking my scrap bag. <laughs> scraps everywhere. I'm drowning in scraps. The more I use, the more I seem to have. They do come in very handy, I must say. But that's quite nice because it's actually got the grey, bluey grey and the pink in it. So, pinky mode. So, we'll use that. And we'll make a small tag out of it. So, this is a piece of Bow Bunny's glitter series paper. It's lovely. It really is. I love it. And I'm just going to make a tag quickly. So again, cut one corner off, turn it over, use it as a template for the other side. I do have a store card that I have cut corners on and use that as a template. There we have that one. So, um, okay. To save time we'll just put a hole in this like so and that can then go in there like that so we've got the other piece of pink here the other half of that one that we've just used it does fray though this seam binding it's very nice though it's silky and you can buy bags of scraps, so they come in handy too for this sort of thing. Oh, that was clever, wasn't it? I've just ripped that now. Okay, we'll have to do a quick repair job on it. Let's find something alternate to use. Um, that piece of that. Okay, what I've got are in my bin. That's why I like to strengthen the top. So I've got these two corner pieces. So I'm going to um, use those and make a kind of a tab out of them. So I'm going to just cut that. And in there, okay, not very straight. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. But what's up with me today? I've got dropsy. Oh, I know I've done that before with a tag. I've actually tied something to the topper to it and then I accidentally ripped it. So I'm just going to glue that with these and put the hole back in. So we'll go that way up just there and then. That way up on the back, like so. If you have a bit of wiggle room, sometimes with art glitter, that's all right. And then we can pop the hole back in. So clumsy sometimes I am. And then we can gently, because it's not quite dry, put this through.
and pop that in there. And then I think we'll just stick the label on and that will we'll call that one decorated. So let's find some labels. Um, that's a nice one there. Quite like that. I find that decorating takes the longest time, so I'm just going to use my glue stick and glue that on with that. And then as I say, what you can do when you get it in your, um, you have something like a journal or something you want to might maybe put it in, you can... Um, you can then embellish it a bit more. You could use a bit of lace. Okay, so that is our pocket notebook. I haven't made a notebook. It's a multi-pocket. Um, Rachel, uh, Rachel, Rachel and Bella Crafts, hashtag 100 days, RAB, day 11, called this a multi-pocket notebook. Um, you could make a little notebook to go in the top, actually. Um, and we've got a couple of tags and a journal card in it. So I hope you enjoyed that. And um, simple and easy to make. Okay. So I'll speak to you all again soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.